Change it. Let's listen to it. Let's Under listen to it. Let's hear what he got and to say, two, man. Removing shot timing variability due to defensive pressure. Now keep in mind that's this better gonna back it up. First off, you see my boy Stax Montana looking like the look on his face is just saying cap on, cap off, cap on, cap off. The capper, but he ain't even trying to hear this, bro. He's trying to keep from laughing. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. Good afternoon, out there, 2K lad, man. Check this out, man. As always, full disclosure, y'all already know what time it is, man. Yesterday we had our video. Hey, listen, man, is 2K dead or not? This was the podcast. I'm going to need y'all to do better on this one. I'm going to need y'all to go back and watch that one. I understand that you saw it was an hour, uh, almost an hour video, but this was the podcast. Uh, good, a lot of good information in there, a lot of good everything in there, man. Hey, listen, man, well, we got 1.5,000 views on 150 uh, likes and uh, 500, uh, 500 comments, man. Listen, man, that's that's good enough for me, man, because you know what that makes us, that, that gets us going to the moon, Alice. But listen, I'm gonna need y'all to do better on this video because I got unmitigated proof that uh, of what's going on here. But before we do that, man, I gotta give y'all the Nodi Gang wall of fame. Any of y'all that come through and say, what's up first, all of that gym stars, everybody, y'all are on the Nodi Gang Wall of Fame, man. Hey, my man, hey, my man, uh, Mari, what is that? Marinara says, hey, yo, the sales of the game doesn't equal the game, uh, don't doesn't equal the game being dead. Uh, concurrent players would show if a game is dead or not. Pretty simple, and man, that's what they already saying, man. They say the concurrent players are always high on this joint, man. And then also, hey, man, Jer uh, Jer Jeremy Thompson, he just says, hey, man. Hey, we as a community, AKA the consumer need to come together and agree on something that's happening in the game enough to where they have no choice but to listen or make a change, man. And I, I agree with that, man, because like I said, bro, a lot of people that, you know, we, we talk about this stuff and we say this and we say that, but a lot of times, man, everybody's, I, I can't, everybody's out for themselves. You know, it's, it's my bottom line, my my pockets, all this stuff, man. We're going to talk about everything in it like that, but man, before we get started, make sure y'all hit that like button and comment y'all thoughts down below so we can get this thing going to the moon, Alice. Make sure, let's get 300 likes before we get 1,500 views or 300 likes in the first hour so it gets in the algorithm and with all that out of the way, MW. It's three is back. Yes, so what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out, man. We just gonna start off right quick, man. It said, hey, Aiden has made a total of 20 million from gambling on stake in the past month man now let, let me let me let me, let me let's, let's, let, can we keep it a buck man can we keep it a stack a buck a stack a thou wow all that good stuff man listen man uh all that money that that aiden wins like i i I'm, I'm not saying that it is or this is how it goes but nine times out of ten bro when you got to deal with a site like that all that stuff is manufactured so you can add up all the winnings. somebody probably went and added up the winnings and said you know this is how much he won but we don't take away how much he puts in and nine times out of ten bro you don't stake okay let's okay, say aiden streams on uh aiden streams on kick kick is owned by by what is, is is it owned by that or whatever man hey listen man i don't know man but listen a lot of times i don't think they own they own stake or whatever but what, what whatever it is is when somebody stakes you or what have you but a lot of times man those winners with, with stars and all of that stuff man like they they fund them to promote the product and then when you see how much they won or whatever it's just like uh you know <laughs> It don't be it don't be all the way on the up and up. It's it's something to say. Hey, if he won twenty million, I can win at least two hundred, and then they want y'all to get into that. Don't don't buy into that stuff, man. Like I said, he probably did win twenty million. Hey, it is what it is. If he did, good for him. But I'm just saying, everything is not always how it seems. And sometimes when you want, sometimes when you work with when you're working with somebody you sponsor by, you know your your odds and all that stuff and you know they give you stuff to put out to the public and say i want this this and that these are my picks all this stuff so hey if he wanted good for him he should sh hey share those picks and let some other people get going man up next man hey we got this right here <laughs> y'all understand what i'm saying though they they inflate those numbers or they just they back you they stake you they do all that stuff and then you know that's how you get 
paid by promoting the product, but it is what it is. But I'm, I'm sure that I don't think he got the actual 20 million. Like you don't you don't put in, but you don't get the winnings either. And and it is what it is. Anyway, hey, Big Dog says, hey, cod out, Brody, go play. <laughs> I guess this was uh this was in response to my guy Don Work. My my boy Don Work was saying, hey, play it, play, play tail, lose, play good, lose. Play uh play like an MF like Kobe and his prime lose. That's when the that's when it's time to turn the game off. And then Big Dog came through. He said, "Hey, card out, Brody. Go go play that. Uh, go play that. 2K about to die. The original Fortnite is back. Rumors of Verdansk uh coming. GTA 6 on the way. The trailer you know trailer being beginning in a month or what have you. It's over with. I mean, 2K never gonna be over with, man. He says he says I'm not really a gamer like that to be honest. And this is what a lot of people don't understand about a lot of people. I'm not really a gamer like that to be honest. Um, and if it wasn't for 2K or Madden, I probably wouldn't even on a on a console and that's really how it goes with a lot of people bro and then uh hey listen let me show y'all something because a lot of people are thinking that it's all sweet when it comes to this call of duty man, man look bro you got people face. been playing this no, joint no, no, no. since 2006 no, man 2009 2006 bro look bro dude out here he got it like he's just getting fried and he's like they already got all the angles they already got everything let me let me make this better i wouldn't make this big but i want y'all to keep in mind that me sweaty old head won this game and then when me and sweaty old head won this game you see what happened but anyway hey that call of duty it ain't all it ain't all you know what i'm talking about it ain't all just just candy and nuts and everything nice bro i'm not gonna lie to y'all man it is it is kind of tough out there man sometimes like i said we got in this fun trap and and, and we just getting kept getting slapped over and over and over and over uh this morning not over and over in in on rust man so hey they got them sight lines and stuff so hey be hey go in there play the game but do it cautiously now i wanted y'all to take a look at this right here you see that me and sweaty old head we came out here we won our game and once we won our game we were allowed to play with each other again we're just gonna fast forward keep that in mind right so keep that in mind as as we uh as we look in uh, look at something else uh in one second and i hate they took my there we go right there we're gonna look at this because i want y'all to listen to what we about to listen to man and uh i just want y'all to just just you know because 2k made came out and made a statement yesterday the and they were saying changes were one a slight buff to close shots wide open jump shot let me reference this first they said that no change let's listen That's to it let's listen to it let's, let's hear what he got to say two, man removing shot timing variability due to defensive pressure now keep in mind that this there better go no back changes. it up first off you see my boy Stax montana looking like the look on his face is just saying cap on cap off cap on cap off the capper but he ain't even trying to hear this bro he's trying to keep him laughing start of season two i don't know so why they reminder, made them be the fall guys one a slight buff to close shots wide open jump shots and the limitless range badge and two removing shot timing variability due to defensive pressure now keep in mind that's not all shot timing variability that was mm -hmm. removed, just when it was varying due to defensive pressure. Again, there have been no changes to shooting since then. No changes We've to shooting. We've also seen a lot of questions about the boost for turning your shot meter off. Mm -hmm. That has not changed this year. Turning the shot meter off still increases your green window size by 20%, Bet. same as it did when 2K24 came out. Okay, okay. So with that said, we want to remind everyone that changes to Encore gameplay are communicated in our Discord and on our Patch Notes website, and we encourage everybody to rely on our official 2K channels for information about new updates. Don't believe everything you read and hear. We and our gameplay dev team have been committed all year to open communication mm -hmm. on changes like these, and if something okay. does change, you will hear it from us. Hey, they no said, changes, okay, so y'all no heard what they said. Into... There have been no, re reiterating, there have been no changes. Rely on us for the official stuff, all that good stuff, right? That's what they said, man. That's what I heard them say. Y'all heard them say it too. So imagine my surprise when I went over to Reddit today, man, and I saw this right here that says, NBA 2K Theater has been ruined and it says uh he says i haven't i uh, hold, hold on he said hold on let me, let me hit this right here and this only happened three hours ago so take it with a grain of salt it'll probably be hit fixed by the time y'all see it but it says hey i haven't seen anyone talk about this but it seems even if you even if you get a win in no squads theater you get booted back to the lobby finding a good teammate is bad enough and now you can't even stay with them after a w uh end of my short rant i understand that the concept behind it i mean uh, the concept behind this now and some would agree with with uh it to an extent but for the love of common sense 
bring back the option to view the last game status so we can add the add these players that we run with so we can add them to, you know to run them in the run them in the park and so what he's basically saying is in these theater games bro when you're winning these games now uh but, but this couldn't possibly happen because 2k didn't put out a blurb about it and we didn't hear anything about it so it couldn't have possibly happened because this is on court gameplay and we didn't get anything like nobody knows that this happened so i've been playing in the, in the uh in random theater after two days of playing cop my shot is uh, absolutely abysmal but I, I had to go out there and check this out and see if it's right and um we just gonna make a long story short but like we said it, it couldn't have possibly been that because y'all saw me play with sweaty old head because i know somebody <laughs> you can, you, you, it's always been like that you can never play I, my mama's here today so i can't say it but yeah anyway sh sh shut the f up shut the f up okay that's what we gonna say okay look that's not true i just showed you that sweaty old head and i we played or we played that game and we played and we were on the same team now what's going on now after these games are over you see that we won okay you see that we won everything gets tallied up right right maxed out at 40 that never happens 3.4 what happens here I'm, I'm obviously gonna because because it couldn't happen without 2k changing anything so i'm obviously gonna load up no no that's what happens it kicks us back to the lobby. Oh, oh, yeah, well, 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 well. Jay, Jay, that was just one time. Just okay, okay, bro. I, I, I won almost every game I played today in this random, uh, in in the random center. Look, again, 21 to 10, we won. Now I'm at 3.5, because I'm getting 0.1 per game. What happens after we win? We going back, back, back to the lobby, yeah. And to the lobby, yeah, yeah. Lobby, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, last game that we played, came out here, exact same thing. Won the game. Uh, what we did, 19 to 19. Boom. I get a rebound, kick it out to my man. Right! Won the game, right? It says we won. Okay. Okay. We won the game. And what happens? Maxed out 3.5. We went from 3.5 to 3.6. Y'all see what's going on. What happens? Well, I, I just want y'all to let me know because it couldn't possibly be that we're going back to the line. So we're saying all that to say this. I, I understood what 2K was trying to get at when they were, and we're back in the lobby. So did they put out a blurb about that? Did we hear about that? No. Only thing I'm saying, man, is this. I understand that 2K is a video game and that it is, and it's made off of programming. And as such, listen, we, we're going to have things that happen that, that you didn't mean to happen. We know that's going to happen. But to come out and say, man, that any change, no changes have been made. Well, well maybe they could have just said, bro, we're trying to look at this thing or we're trying to figure it out or we're trying to do this or do that or what have you. But it, they could have said, we're working on the game still. We're working on some things within the game and the game is in a state of flux or something like that. And as such, uh, you know, we could probably, you can expect you know if something feels weird that's probably what it is or anything like that we're trying to fine tune this thing we're trying to get that done they could have said anything like that and i know that this has happened to me before uh, a couple of times and, and yeah they might fix it in an hour or two or a couple of hours or whatever or maybe they'll fix it right after this video whatever but he said don't believe what you hear or or read but, but can you believe what can we believe what we see then are we able to, are we allowed to believe what we actually see? I actually went straight in there. I got a game that was the me and Sweaty Old Head played a couple of days ago. And now I got a game where I went straight in here. And after it, we getting kicked to the lobby over and over. This is not how it was intended to be. I thought that this was, you know, at first when it happened to me a couple months ago, I thought this is how it was intended to be. I think it's just when they change the game modes, it happens. And then they have to go back and reset the parameters. Either way, this is just showing you that things can happen that were unintentional or you know they didn't even know happened and 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 obviously they can't tell you something happened if it happened and it was you know what i'm saying it's unintentional or it was just be a part of the program and somebody got to go do something this is all i'm trying to show y'all is like we I, who can we rely on now 2k says only rely on them but we didn't hear anything about this so we know we can't only rely we know we can't only and there was shot clock violations or whatever um we know we're not able to only rely on 2k and then we have people that do independent tests and we can't rely on those so what on earth can we rely on when the company that actually puts the game out we we, we get nothing from them just radio silence stuff is just happening and then like y'all yeah, understand what i'm saying man but hey listen 
this is a game mode that i actually play and i care about the game mode that i play which is random squads random wreck all that stuff i don't know if this is happening in random wreck y'all let me know i suspect that this is just because they changed the game types and when they change the game types like i said they have to go back and do stuff but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man because like i said people i mean like a, like a stacks was already looking like bro well, i don't know why y'all got us up here taking the heat for this one or you know being the fall guys or whatever and then my other the other guy was just like i really don't know i really don't know uh you know what he want and why do they do that to you man i up my ball hand you catch the ball the ball just go out of bounds like that it is what it is though i ain't got no ball handling but hey we came and got a stop and then we got the dub anyway let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man because like i said this couldn't possibly be happening because 2k didn't put anything out about it and y'all shouldn't believe what you're seeing because 2k didn't put it out so look 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 we win nothing else i'm not even i'm not even gonna hit the fast forward we get the curtain and you know you normally are back in the lobby, but guess what? Not back in the lobby. You, you're getting ready to play the next game. Right here, I'm back in the lobby. And I did this just because I know somebody was going to be like, <laughs> maybe your two teammates quit. Bro, they didn't quit five times in a row. Right there. I just showed y'all every game that we played today. So anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Comment down, down below. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get to 300 likes before we get to 1,500 views. And I'll holler at y'all next time. Till next time. Hey, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Chap. Guys, please. Guys, please.